If you're just starting bartending, this is literally how to make every single classic martini. What's up, what's up you guys? It's your girl, Fly Girl Nina, and welcome back to Fly Girl Bartending. If you haven't watched part one, you should definitely do so. This video is strictly about the technique on how to make classic martinis, and the terminology will make way more sense if you watch part one first and then come back to this video. Also, on flygirlmartini.com, I have some free flashcard printables that you can use to help you study these classic martinis. Literally, all you have to do is just print out the pages, cut out the recipes, and paste them on some index cards to study with. Today, we'll be making six different variations on a classic martini, so let's just jump right in. First up, we have the traditional martini. So we're gonna grab a mixing glass and add two dashes of orange bitters, one ounce of dry vermouth, and two ounces of gin. Then add a lot of ice and stir it until it's chilled. And then we're gonna strain it into a chilled martini glass. And I'm gonna garnish this with a lemon, but with any martini, you can also use an olive garnish. Next up, we have the dry martini. We're gonna add two dashes of orange bitters, a half ounce of dry vermouth, and two and a half ounces of gin. Add some ice, stir it up, and strain into a chilled martini glass. This time, I'm gonna garnish this with an olive. Next up, we have the 50-50 martini. We're gonna add one dash of orange bitters, and it's called a 50-50 martini because we're gonna use equal parts of both dry vermouth and gin. So that'll be one and a half ounces of each. Add ice, give it a stir, and strain into a chilled martini glass. And I'm gonna add three olives for the garnish. Now we're gonna make a perfect martini. We're gonna start with one dash of orange bitters. The perfect martini is kind of similar to a perfect Manhattan. So we're gonna add a half ounce of sweet vermouth and a half ounce of dry vermouth and two ounces of gin. Add ice and stir and strain into a chilled martini. And I'm gonna garnish it with a lemon. Now we're gonna make a vodka martini. One dash of orange bitters. We're gonna add three fourths of an ounce of dry vermouth, just because typically vodka martini people want a more dry martini. And two and a quarter ounce of vodka. Add ice and stir and strain into a chilled martini. And we're gonna add lemon for this one as well. And last but not least, we're gonna make the dirty martini. For the dirty martini, we're actually gonna shake it. So we're gonna bring out a shaking tin. We're gonna add a half ounce of dry vermouth, a half ounce of olive juice, and two ounces of vodka. Now add some ice and shake it up. And for the dirty martini, I'm actually gonna double strain it because I don't want any ice chips getting in the cocktail because that could cause excess dilution. And I'm gonna garnish this dirty martini with a blue cheese stuffed olive. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. You are now masters of classic martinis. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> For me, if I were to choose one out of the bunch, I think I would choose like the dry gin martini, but with a twist. But I wanna know what your favorite is too, so leave that in the comments down below. If you like today's content, please leave a like down below to let me know that you like this style of videos where they're more like master classes of certain particular cocktails. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Join the gang, okay? <laughs> and turn the notifications on so you get a notification every single time I post a video. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Flag Over Stay flat. <laughs>